guys, how's it going? So, I received these two yo-yos from EG, the Surveillance and the M, like weeks ago, weeks, months ago, and edited it, was ready to go, lost the hard drive that the video was on, that video is gone forever. The initial unboxing had like a really nice pair of like snacks, a lot of fun, it was really really awesome to unbox, kind of different, different vibes, but yeah, that video's gone. So. We can't, re we can't redo the whole unboxing thing, but we can do a review. So today's video is going to be a review on the Mal Surveillance. So, you guys want to check this thing out? Let's go ahead and do that. So, when I first picked up the Mal Surveillance, the yo-yo that it really reminded me of was the Yo-Yo Factory Space Cowboy. Um, and to be perfectly honest with you, because this was Daiki Tanaka's signature yo-yo, it kind of draws the comparison. So, um, when I was at AP, um, Daiki would very commonly use the Space Cowboy. So I'm guessing that this was one of his, um, more favorite models on Yo-Yo Factory, and when he eventually jumped ship, he said he wanted something similar. So there you can see that these two yo-yos are kind of reminiscent of one another. Um, another yo-yo that this kind of also reminds me of is the Super G. So as you can see here, the Super G has these really inner flared out kind of design here. So if you really look at it, it kind of looks like a bimetal Super G. So basically, confuse these two together, snazz it up with a bit of black anodized rims, and you essentially get yourself a surveillance. Just from an aesthetic point of view, this thing is really sick. So if you take a look, you know, the laser engravings are really cool there. You can see surveillance in there. It's got a really nice kind of inner design. Very, very fancy schmancy artwork. And the other cool thing are these black rims. So I'm not sure, maybe there has been another yo with like black titanium, um, black stainless steel rims. But for me, this is just a really refreshing change because I've never seen black rims before. I've seen silver, seen, I've tried to do blue myself and I've done, I've seen a lot of other colors, but I've never seen black, and normally that's not too visible, but it's a very, very kind of nice change from the, you know, usual blingy kind of rims. This is a very different, elegant shift from the norm. So, as you can see here, the yo-yo itself is about 42.5 millimeters wide, which is pretty wide in this day and age. I mean, not super wide, 42.5, it's almost 43. It's along the kind of wider side of yo-yos. Um, and it's got a diameter of about 56 millimeters. So it's about, it's, it's a large yo-yo. It's a large yo-yo. Um, if you go ahead and unscrew this thing, this bearing here, I believe that this is a standard Diffio concave bearing. So this thing comes stock with a Diffio concave bearing. Anyone who knows um, concave bearings, that Diffio was kind of like the first company to make them. So yeah, really, really old school bearing. And the pads here, the, um, according to Yo-Yo Expert that is, they are K-Pads. So K-Pads are a pad that I haven't seen in a Yo-Yo for quite some time. Normally factories these days kind of make their own standard pads. But this, Diffio Concave Bearing K-Pads, super, super old school guts. Old school core of this Yo-Yo. So, how does this thing play? Alright, the first thing I'd like to say is that this thing plays like an absolute beast. Okay? It's... For me personally, this thing is as close to competitive, like, competitive perfection as you could probably get. Um, so, first of all, the thing, it's not super heavy, it's light enough for you to kind of like throw around so you can do your fast paced tricks, you know, stuff like that. But also, because it has the shape of the Super G in there, and it's kind of pretty wide and in general, this thing is super easy to catch. Like, it, it doesn't have that like, oh, uh, it's big, but it doesn't kind of catch well. Super, super easy to catch. The next thing is that because of its weight distribution, it holds its axis really well. So it's not the widest yo-yo. In fact, I think it's, um, hmm. God, I think it's around 66 grams. But it's stability and spin time make up for that. So you can jostle this thing horizontally or as much as you want to. Ugh. But again, um, the main thing with this is that it's got the spin time and it's got the stability. So if a yo-yo has spin time, stability, and relatively lightweight, it can do anything. So this thing could just as easily be a tech yo-yo 
as it could be a competitive yo-yo shown around, thrown around by like Shion or like Iori or something. And you know, it's designed by, you know, Dai or de designed for Daiki Tanaka. So that guy, he's got a lot of really, really crazy horizontal tricks, but he's also got some crazy tech tricks. And I think that this yo-yo is gonna serve him super, super well. Does it play like a Space Cowboy mixed with a Super G? You know what? Yes, it does, but it does it so well. Oh crap. <laughs> it does it so well that you just met whatever, because it's like, this thing, it's good. It basically took all the strengths, none of the weaknesses, melded it into one. So, this thing is a very refreshing yo yo. It's a 100% competitive yo yo that doesn't really look like a knockoff of a drop mirror in any particular way. It's found its own kind of way to be competitive, stuck to its guns, and it's created something that ticks all the boxes, spins well, flows well, um, super stable, and super easy to catch. So, yeah. Um, one other thing that ex I'm not particularly sure about, but the one I got, and you saw how I treat my ears, like I just dinged it just then, it's dead smooth. Like, listen to that. Like, you can barely hear the vibration there, it's just like one kind of monotone pitch because this thing barely, barely vibes. So I think that the surveillance is a really nice and really refreshing mix in a yo-yo. And to be perfectly honest with you, I feel as if this is kind of a yo-yo factory remix. It's a remix of the Super G, it's a remix of the Space Cowboy, it's made into a really nice yo-yo though. So definitely think that this is something really nice, really refreshing. Technically, plays like a beast. If you guys want something that can handle everything, get this, okay? The only thing that might put some players off is it's a bit heavy. It's a bit blocky, different to kind of those sleek, angular looking yo-yos. Might put some players off, but that's a personal preference kind of thing. Um, maybe that would be the one thing that would stop me from using it, because I kind of like the sleek, angular, nice fit in your hand kind of yo-yo, but hey, that's, that's kind of the only thing on the string. Plays like a dream, very easy to catch, very long spin time, very stable. Competition beast. I'm so I'd be I wouldn't be surprised if Daiki Tanaka won a couple competitions with this thing and like it blows up and everyone's using Mal all of a sudden. But yeah, really, really excited, really grateful to receive one. Thank you, EG. And if you guys are interested, I'm gonna be uploading a video on the M, which is the monometal yo-yo by them soon. So yeah, keep things posted. Any comments, questions, and criticisms, post them down below. And I will see you guys next time.